हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टू फाइंडिंग आउट द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ सस्पेंडेड बार नाउ अवर नेक्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट इज फाइंडिंग आउट मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया विद द हेल्प ऑफ सस्पेंडेड डिस्क सो फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट द टाइटल ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज ए ट्राई फिलर सस्पेंशन मेथड देन एम ऑफ फॉर एम फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया बाय ट्राई फिलर सस्पेंशन मेथड देन लर्निंग आउटकम्स फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट After successful completion of this experiment, student must be able to determine the radius of gyration and mass movement of inertia of suspended disc. Okay, so same experiment is there like a previous bifilar suspension. In that bifilar suspension, there is a bar, but in this trifilar suspension method, we are going to finding out moment of inertia of disc. So this disc is suspended at three points. So for this experiment, we are trifilar suspension method so see here this is our experimental setup for trifilar suspension method this is our disc which is suspended at three points so previously bar is suspended at two points so we have called that experiment as a bifilar suspension but for this experiment we are suspending this disc with the help of this three three strings so that we are going to call it is a trifilar suspension method so for this experiment we required some observations to calculate the moment of inertia for that first we need to finding out or we need to know the mass of this disc so typical mass of this disc is 6.3 kg then we required a free length of suspension that is length of suspension for this disc that is to be measured with the help of this steel rule now we are going to measure this free length of suspension so see here typical length of for this suspension is near about 53.5 cm is nothing but 0.535 m okay now we required radius for this disc so the radius we are going to measure from the center of this disc so this radius is near about 17.5 cm is nothing but 0.175 m so these are the observations we required for this experiment now we will giving number of oscillations so for our convenient we are giving 10 oscillations for this disc so see here giving the oscillation so calculate the time period we required the stopwatch so see here stopwatch is required so for num 10 oscillations we are finding time from the stopwatch okay so let us see we are giving oscillations here start 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so, so from number of oscillations 10 oscillations given to the disc we are got we are get this uh, number of seconds for the 10 oscillation 10.82 they are nearly equal to 11 so see here observation table here we required total length of the cord that we have measured with the help of steel rule so this total length of the cord is near about 0.53 meter then mass of the basic plate is 6.3 kg already we have with us then radius we have measured from the center that radius is 0.175 meter then number of oscillations we are taken these number of oscillations are 10 and the time for the number of oscillations we got is 10.83 seconds okay so they are nearly equal to 11 second next we have to calculate theoretical time period then theoretical moment of inertia then practical time period and practical moment of inertia with the help of observation so for this disc i theoretical will be calculated with the help of this equation mr square by 2 then similarly time period required for the oscillation by using this formula we are going to calculate the time period then practical time period we have calculated so the number of oscillations we have taken 10 so time required for oscillation from that we have get a practical time period so see here practical time period we have calculated with the help of this equation and practical moment of inertia for this 
disk then last our result table we are comparing theoretical values with practical values for time and moment of inertia